Commission for Sports with me, Abigail Sanasosu. And in the wake of FIFA and the government of Ghana exchanging letters, seeing how best we can resolve um, that bohaha that came in the wake of the announced video like two months ago, Kumasi Asante Kotoko back home are sharing and distributing press statements of their own, um, reshuffling management. And it's interesting in this time why they would choose to do something like that. But with me in studio is Michael Linkansa, who is head of communications for the National Circles Council, and who will throw more light on what is happening with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But you're welcome. Thank you. Mm, it's an honor to see you again. Without yeah. football, I don't really see you anywhere. So. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's football that brings mm. us together. And sure. so, um, anything short of football, we had limits. Mm. But I, I thought we had to deal with a NAS government and then FIFA. So why would Kotoko want us to think about this at this time? Yeah, Kotoko want you to think about Kotoko at this time because mm -hmm. we want to use this uh, brick as it, as it is uh, to make sure that we put our houses in order, to make sure that uh, all the deficiencies we have in terms of our management style and our management structure, we put it together before the commencement of active football in Ghana. And so we are using the quote unquote the brick period to restructure Asante Kotoko and to make sure that Asante Kotoko gets back on the right path. But some of us were hinted of this change, this possible change, months before it, it happened. And so is it that it had to do with the executive board of the club not so happy with some people he started to work with? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he wasn't happy with the people he started working with, mm. except to say that uh, uh, as you move along in terms of your your positions and in terms of your leadership style and uh, leadership abilities, you begin to identify uh, weaknesses as and when uh, the day goes by. And sure. of course, uh, supporters have also have uh, worries to, uh, or have cause to worry about the style of management and the structure of management and the deficiencies that uh, we feel uh, are, are closely associated with Satante Kotoko. And for that matter, it requires drastic uh, decisions and drastic measures to make sure that uh, things are put in the right path. And I'm sure that is exactly what informed the decision of the executive board chairman. Mm, but on a day that the old management was dissolved, that same day we had um, a new one that was being constituted. So it tells you that Kotoko is always ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's not usual that uh, a dissolution takes effect within a period of time then new appointments are announced. It means that all the appointments were done behind closed doors and for that matter, we're only waiting for the appropriate time for the communication, the official communication to come. And I'm sure that if you look at the composition of the current management or the personnel who have been appointed by the executive board chairman, um, it stands to reason to the fact that um, we are very convinced that uh, we'll be able to get the needed results and the needed uh, achievements in terms of leadership styles and leadership abilities from this current management that uh, Dr. Chi has announced. Mm. So I can also folk um, appointed a managing director that was new to the club and then here we are, Kotoko with the new management that has also been constituted, have a chief executive officer. Are you learning from your brothers? Why not at all, not at all. I mean, Kotoko has always practiced this uh, management structure mm -hmm. for all these years and um, you recall that any time we But had we had Dr. Che acting as that and No, Dr. Che's mm -hmm. uh, portfolio at the time was an executive board chairman. That's okay. Our and way. you didn't have a and chief executive officer. So he was doubling as the chief yes. executive because as an executive board chairman, you double as the head of the uh, management okay. team in terms of the day-to-day -day administration of the club. And so mm. it is not that he wants to have a well-defined well uh, management team okay. who reports to him as an executive board chairman. I'm sure that is exactly what informed the decision to appoint George Amakon, who is a seasoned football administrator, to steer the affairs of Asante Kotoko. And you are a leader of an integral part of the club yeah, as of a supporter. Yes. And so are you satisfied with Mr. Amakon's appointment? Well, satisfaction uh, will be relative. Uh, I think that uh, if you meet every single Kotoko supporter, I'm sure you have varied opinions and expressions of. Uh, uh, appreciation for this current structure. I think that, uh, but from the national point of view, I think that uh, we do not have any any problem with the, the, the personnel who have been appointed, except that we are hoping that uh, they will be able to work collectively hmm. and they will be able to work in a very harmonious manner to ensure that we achieve results. That's all that the ordinary supporter of Asante Kotoko wants. And so anything short of that is what will create a problem. And if we have all these competent men uh, and we are not getting the needed results, then Kotoko, uh, supporters will have a cause to worry about their, 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 their competence levels and everything.
already um, and in an earlier report by my colleague in Kumasi, people are questioning um, whether your new doctor is really a doctor. Some are saying it's a... Well, I, I think that... Um, their qualification already has been questioned. Um, so now, uh, for purposes of the discussion, mm -hmm. let me just say that if tomorrow Dr. Che is appointed okay. and he's named Dr. Che mm -hmm. in charge of something, yeah. by virtue of the title doctor, the first information that comes from hand side is the fact that is he a medical doctor or is he an academic doctor or mm -hmm. what form of doctor is he? Oh, okay. um, the man in question who is a PhD in human psychology, okay. who is a PhD in physiotherapy. Okay. And so if he has a title doctor mm -hmm. and his name comes up, until you take time to analyze what is all his portfolio. But he was named a team doctor. Well, maybe um, team doctor because of his physiotherapy knowledge. Okay. Okay. Um, if you look at the structure now, the team doctor will be working with other team of medical officials in the mm. team. And so if he's made to head the medical department, it does not necessarily make him a medical doctor. No, okay. Okay. But, but quickly away from Kumasi Asante Protocol, here we are and FIFA is likely to ban us if government does not withdraw. As a club that you are putting things in order, where do you stand now? Well, I think that um, it will hit us big if we sit down for the ban to take effect. Sure. Um, I think we have for close to about a week and a half to mm -hmm. put our houses in order. Um, I have always expressed the opinion that um, the fallout from the expose should give us reasons to do certain things. And fortunately for us, the attention of FIFA was on Russia. Yeah. So we could have quickly and hurriedly put things in order whilst the, the attention was not on us. But we still allowed that opportunity to slip by. And now their focus and their attention is on us. So everything we do, and I stand to disagree with anybody who thinks that FIFA can do whatever they want, FIFA can do whatever they want. It's not about FIFA can do whatever they want. Let us see that once we have, had, we have all decided as a people to get affiliated to an association called FIFA, we must mm -hmm. play the, the, the game by the rules. Sure. Because FIFA never forced us to join them. If you want to join any United Nations Association, nobody forces you to join. Yeah. So once you join, you play the game by the rules. So FIFA says it doesn't entertain interference. Mm. The definition of interference by the FIFA statutes and, and their, their regulations, regulations as to how the word interference is defined, we need to go and look at the interpretation schedule of FIFA's mm. law, laws and see what interference means. Yeah, okay. If interference does not mean maybe direct government interventions. Because there's a distinction between an intervention and interference. Yeah. So if they are talking about interference, we should not be ranting on radio, trying to castigate them and make them mm. look as if they don't have any power to say anything. And we are a sovereign state. Yes, of course we are a sovereign state. You but we are decided to, to join them. Okay. So let us reason up and discuss the matter in a very holistic manner mm. and get the, the solutions to the problems we have rather than trying to do the things we are doing now. Okay. Mark Nkasa, thank you very much for your time. But interesting times ahead as FIFA and Ghana continues to see how best Ghana Football Association can get back to work and football in Ghana gets back on track. This is all for Sports on Pulse. My name is Abigail Senasusu.